let's talk about liquid pressure pressure of liquid depends upon three factors I want to present these factors at D and G pressure of liquid depends upon these three factors at D and G now what are these factors let's talk about this at is height or depth of the liquid D means density of the liquid and G means acceleration due to gravity look at this simple representation a beaker is taken and here a liquid is filled let's say water and two points are selected A and B now what I told you just now pressure of liquid depends upon height or depth of the liquid this point A lies at less depth from the surface of the liquid this depth is less but point B lies at greater depth from the surface of the liquid since point B lies at greater depth that's why pressure at point B will be more but point A will be less pressure of liquid depends upon depth more the depth more the pressure less the depth less the pressure in the same way let us say a second one it also depends upon density of liquid if it is water then how much pressure is exerted at point A will be less if this is a salt solution if in, instead of water it is salt solution then pressure at A will be more than water and in the same way if we compare the pressure at B in water and pressure at B in salt solution then the pressure at B will be more in case of salt solution that's why pressure depends on the density of the liquid more the density more the pressure in the same way third factor which affects the liquid pressure is acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity is different in different parts of the earth acceleration due to gravity at pole is more at equator it is less that's why if the same liquid is taken to the pole and if we calculate or if we want to find out the pressure at the bottom of this beaker pressure exerted by this water at the bottom of the beaker at port will be a little more because value of z is more at port and the same beaker is taken to equator and pressure at the bottom of this beaker uh, is again measured this pressure exerted by this water at the bottom of the beaker will be more more at pole but less at equator this way pressure depends on three factors x d and z now let's talk uh, a little more about this how can we prove that p equal to s d g look at this i'm going to prove p equal to s d g according to the definition of pressure what is defined in the pressure force acting per unit area is called pressure that's why according to the definition of pressure pressure can be written as force by area and this is if written again i can write this way p equal to in place of force i want to write mg why mg because we know that force equal to mg weight force is force is the product of mass into acceleration due to gravity how can i say so because here we are talking about the weight force and weight of a body is the product of its mass and acceleration due to gravity that's why in place of weight force we can write m into z now further i want to write a little more like like this mass in place of mass we can write d into b why mass is written as d into b reason is very simple because m equal to dv the reason is density of a body is defined as mass per unit volume density equal to mass by volume if it is so then mass will be equal to density into volume this way i'm going to take this dv here mass in place of mass i'm writing dv in the same way again we can write a little more about this or p equal to in place of d 
same D, but in place of V, I am writing A into S. Why AS in place of V? Look at this again. This is a container which contains this much amount of water, let's see. And volume of this water can be considered as area of its base into height. Volume of this water will be equal to area of the base of the container into height. V equal to A into S. That's why I can write A into S in place of V. A A cancel. Therefore, pressure of liquid depends upon three factors. D, S, G. We can write any one first and second. Another one. S, D, G. This way, we can prove that pressure of liquid depends upon three factors. They are height or depth of the liquid and another density of the liquid, another acceleration due to gravity.